there's a plethora of programs that I'm sure will make you feel very warm and fuzzy inside and help you during those dark days. So, guys and gals, right now we're going to flip things around. Dr. Fink, guys and gals, Matthew, Matt Fink, will explain why, excuse me, will explain why his show, I don't want to reveal what it is just yet, his television program helps him relax after a stressful day. Are you ready to go, good sir? Yes. Uh, I I like to watch a uh, Academy Award winning documentary film that came out in 2020 called my octopus teacher and when you watch this show it takes you underwater into a very calm environment and you are you're you have this intimate look at at the life of an octopus it's so intelligent too you learn how intelligent it is and it, it has a lot of feeling and you watch this bond that takes place between a scientist who's studying this female octopus and and then it's you know trials and tribulations and it's survival throughout a, a year-long period and then eventually it you know it doesn't survive just like a lot of creatures in the wild you know are destined to do but at the same time it the underwater environment is so beautiful it, it's off of the coast of South Africa and it's it's a very relaxing show and very emotional too you really become emotionally attached to this uh, creature through this uh, scientist and uh, even though you you know you empathize empathize with the creature it's still very relaxing to watch and be in that environment thank you so much matt i appreciate that guys and gals matt again or the uh these legends are sharing with us a show that helps them unwind, perhaps, and relax. And that's what we do here, guys. We don't ask the same old, same old. That can happen anywhere else. We're going to hear, learn more about the person behind the persona. And why not? Because we can all exist together. We're not different after all. Uh, Mr. Matt Fink, I want to bring this up to you because sure. you guys truly did revolutionize through the revolution. Uh, the music sound, the way it was presented, the performance art, everything about it was iconic and, of course, revolutionary. But there were also some incredible legends along the way. Uh, that you met and sat down with in Wembley Stadium. You had a chance to talk with Mick Jagger. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. After, Interesting after conversation. Some. Do you recall elements of that conversation? Uh, a little bit. It's it is quite a long time ago. But he, he was with his wife Jerry Hall, and I, I was with my uh, future and current wife at the time. And uh, this was right before an after show uh, party, and we were some of the first people there so i was just kind of sitting at a table and mick walks up with jerry hall and asked me if he could sit down and have a drink i said sure absolutely but i had i had met him you know at least nine years before in another right the time when we opened for them at the la coliseum in 1981 but uh so he Was sat october, down and, october october of 81 i believe so yeah but uh regardless i mean we we just had kind of a nice little after show hey great show doctor and it's wonderful to see you all tonight you know <laughs> and uh and i of course inside i'm jumping up and down with glee that i'm having an actual face-to-face -face, uh, conversation yeah. with one of my idols uh but i had to remain calm and collected and just you know get into the conversation with he and his wife and um because it's so long ago, I cannot unfortunately remember sure, the details sure. of what we said, but we, you know, we ordered our drinks and I'm sure we discussed the show a bit and complimented one another's uh, careers and all that stuff, you know? And I'm sure you're thinking in your head, hey, wait a minute, nine years earlier, the audience wasn't as receptive and they, 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 they should have been, of course, but that's what happens when innovation hits people for the first time. They don't know what to make that's of it. That's right. And and Mick, of course, saw the innovation and which is why he wanted to introduce us to the masses and to his his particular audience. Unfortunately, his particular audience didn't appreciate Prince right off the bat. So uh, that was quite an experience. I don't know if Zab and Larry know the story, but uh, we had everything under the sun thrown at us on stage when we, when we did our, our set of music for that show with the Rolling Stones in front of 90,000 people. Wow. Uh, Absolutely incredible. And of course, yeah. Zab and Larry and Matt guys have sold out some of the biggest stadiums and arenas. Uh, and speaking of guys and gals, Mr. Sabisco, uh, who sold out many a stadiums. And remember, remember without Martino and San Martino's ram head first right into the side of the steel cage. Relenting since he took over on San Martino. San Martino. Oh, no. 
right into the cage again. The advent of of, of pay per view, just regional television. What happened in Shea that night was absolutely incredible. And then a decade later, selling out the the Tokyo Dome uh, right before Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas. Uh, Thank you so much, guys and gals and pals, for enjoying this video and watching it. If you love the content, if you're enjoying it, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you know that we know that the new network is on the rise. Thank you for being who you are.